The eyes of the basketball world have been focused on Miami ever since the Heat brought together the league's most celebrated big three. But long before LeBron James and Chris Bosh came to town, it was Dwayne Wade who first brought his talents here to South Beach. He arrived as a young sensation known as Flash. Since then, he's not only become one of the league's elite players, he's also led the Heat to their first ever NBA title. But even after all that success, Dwayne has never experienced anything like the hype he's seeing right now. First of all, it was uh, it was so off the charts. Was it more than you expected when the thing first happened when you guys got LeBron and Chris? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, you only could think what it would be like. You know, as a as a fan of the game, you're excited because you're like, man, like LeBron and Chris D. Way all playing together, and this is for real. This is not just Olympics. This is, you know, for a long for a long time. So as a fan of the game, I'm excited about you know the opportunity and the possibility of what it can be. Um, but then when it when it happened and all the media attention came, it was just like, whoa, <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, nice smiles. I feel like in the last four or five years, man, that spotlight has got so bright. Does it ever make you a little uncomfortable? It can. Um, I like to think that I've done a good job of dealing with that spotlight. Whether the spotlight has been bright as it can be and it's been dim. You know, one thing about this sport, it'll take you high and it'll take you low. Mm -hmm. And I've been involved in both. I've won a championship and I've won 15 games. I've been in one where my phone don't start ringing, and I've been at the point where my phone <laughs> didn't ring. <laughs> so I understand both, and I try to stay even keel between it all. So the journey continues for the Miami Heat. A work in progress, as everyone continues to say. This is one of 82. You know, I'm sorry if everyone thought we was going to go 82 and 0. It just ain't happening. So now everybody wondered about the chemistry between you three guys. How has that been so far? Well, the chemistry has been, um, it's been ongoing. I mean, you got to understand something with, with this is, um, you know, first of all, myself and LeBron uh, are two guys who used to have the ball in their hand at all times, used to make it all the plays. Um, we all know Rome wasn't built in one day, you know, so it's going to take time, and, and we understand that. We knew it would take time, but I think now we're starting to get into a groove and we're starting to understand and feel each other out a little bit. And LeBron motors across. Nice pass, Dwayne Wade hammers it home. LeBron James, here he comes, hitting ahead for Wade. There he goes. Oh! The house of highlights. You think these guys like passing the ball to each other? Wow. Coach Bolster referred to you as uh, one of the caretakers of the Miami Heat philosophy. What does that mean? It just means that, you know, as I express with myself and Donna's, we just, we understand the culture. We understand the philosophy of behind what Miami Heat basketball is all about. You know, our system and with the things we do and the culture and the first class organization that we are, we are the ones who show people who come in. This is how we do things here. We might make minor adjustments, minor tweaks, but at the end of the day, this is our culture. After making the adjustments they needed, the Heat found their groove. Here comes Dwayne Wade, open court. LeBron the trailer. Wade doesn't need him. Tony, the winning streak stays alive. The Heat have won eight straight games. The bell tolls for another Heat opponent. And leading the charge was the player formerly known as Flash. Alley up to Wade! So, I follow you, Twitter. I see the Flash thing. No more Flash. <laughs> Tell me about that. Well, to me, it's simple. You know, uh, Shaq gave me that name in what, 2004, 2005, my second year in the league. I just felt it was time just of change of me as I'm, become, as I'm changing and now I'm moving forward to what's next. Part of what's next is the fashion modeling thing. And Let's just say fashion, not the modeling. <laughs> <laughs> I got to put the modeling thing because I've seen the stuff, man. I've seen the model. What is that about? Tell me about the modeling. I have no idea. Are you having fun with it? I have fun with it. I, I, I personally, I mean, I'm, I only got like three looks. You know, I can <laughs> look serious. I can smile and I can get your eyebrow raised. I, so I have fun with it because I know that one day no one's going to want to take pictures of me. <laughs> um, and, and I can just show me some stuff that I'm going to be able to show my grandkids one day. Like, man, look at your pops. Look at your grandpas. I was a, you know, I was a sharp brother. 
But uh, most importantly, I just like putting on clothes. You know, I like looking sharp or thinking I look sharp, whatever the case may be. I like feeling good, you know? Nowhere does he feel better than in sunny South Florida, which has been his comfort zone for the past seven years. What are some of the things that you enjoy most about being in Miami? Besides the weather, besides the sun, besides the water. Because Miami is the place where I, when, I, when I land, when I'm in the air and I know I'm going back, it just feels like home. And, you know, and the people have embraced me since day one. And, um, I told them, you know, once I signed that contract, I said, now y'all can't get rid of me. <laughs> you know, the we won't wait thing, <laughs> y'all got me. And I'm here for a long time. The Miami Heat, they've done it! It's been a long time since Dwayne brought a championship to the city he loves, a fact that's been weighing heavily on his mind. You play your first three years, you win a championship. It's been four years since that happened. Yeah. I guess you start to really appreciate how much that championship was, but you start to want it again more. Yeah. Is that starting to... You know what, I'm, I, I think a lot of people probably don't understand this, but when you've won one and then you don't win one for a while, I think it's even worse because you felt what it's felt like to be on the winning circle. You felt what it is to host them trophies up and to get that champagne bath and, and just the whole feeling that you feel like.